It seems that as I review more games on the Atari 2600, I'm more commonly saying that this game reminds me of this game. This is perhaps not a negative thing, but just indicative of the fact that we're slowly developing genres here. This can be found in any medium. For instance, when Guardians of the Galaxy came out, a lot of people were saying, it's like Star Wars, but not Star Wars. This is, of course, true, because Guardians of the Galaxy holds a lot of similarities with Star Wars, but many, many more differences. But all of these differences aside, the fact of the matter is that Star Wars has carved out a monopoly in our area of imagination that regards sci-fi. This area is dedicated to a group of underdog lovable space rogues fighting against an evil force many times larger than them. If any movie comes out with that sort of description, it will almost certainly be compared to Star Wars. That said, the mere fact that we can draw similarities is not a negative towards either of the two things we're comparing. Which brings me finally to my main point. And that point is that the most important word in the sentence, it's like Star Wars, but different, is the word but, followed by the word different. And finally, this is of course a game review for a game on the Atari 2600, namely the game Mousetrap, which is like Pac-Man, but different. As I reviewed Pac-Man for the Atari 2600 last year, at this point there's no doubt that everyone on the entire internet knows about it, so I'm not going to go into too much detail about it. But to quickly sum it up, Pac-Man to Maze Games is basically Star Wars to sci-fi. If you know about Maze Games, you almost certainly know about Pac-Man. Mousetrap blatantly copies many of the things that make Pac-Man Pac-Man, however they change it enough to make Mousetrap not Pac-Man. I suppose Mousetrap is based very loosely off of the board game by the same name, but luckily their interpretation is extremely loose and instead of the game taking forever to set up, you simply hit the on switch. And now that the game is on, you can see what I mean by it being like Pac-Man but not. The first noticeable similarity and difference is the maze. The maze still looks like a maze but it looks like a very different maze, and I think everyone can agree that the color scheme and art style in Mousetrap is already infinitely better than the art style and color design in Pac-Man for the Atari 2600. It just looks like an overall more visually pleasing game. In Mousetrap, unlike Pac-Man, you play as a mouse, whereas in Pac-Man you play as a... Pac-Man. And unlike Pac-Man, your enemies are not ghosts, but instead cats. However, the cats perform basically the same function that the ghosts do in Pac-Man. And by that I mean that they chase you around the arena and you have to avoid them, or they will eat you and you will get dead. Like in Pac-Man, to increase your score, you have to move around the screen picking up those little rectangles. And also, like in Pac-Man, there are also the little power-ups that you can find around the screen that make you capable of eating the cats. However, this is where we encounter the first major difference with Pac-Man. In Pac-Man, as soon as you pick up a power-up, you're going to use it. It's an automatic thing, it immediately becomes engaged, and the ghosts start to run away from you, and you have the power to eat them. However, in Mousetrap, when you pick up a power-up item, it goes into your inventory as of sorts, and you can use it whenever you choose to use it. This means that you can keep it for when you need it, using it to get you out of trouble in a tight bind, or you can use it to chase down the cats to build up your score. As you've probably also noticed, instead of it making your character simply change color, it changes your mouse into a bulldog, which I found to be quite cute. The other major difference is that if you hold down the red button on your controller instead of simply pressing it, pressing it engages the power-up, but if you hold it down, it shifts gates in the maze, changing the layout entirely. You can use this function to open up hallways and trap cats, and it makes the gameplay completely different to Pac-Man. And the final and admittedly rather minor difference between the two games is the way the controller works. In Pac-Man you pretty much nudge your pleasure stick and Pac-Man automatically goes in that direction until he's told not to. While in Mousetrap you have to continue to tell your mouse to go in that direction. But personally when I played Pac-Man I think I've continued to press the pleasure stick in the direction I wanted to go anyway. It's hard to tell if you've done that though when you're not thinking about it. Either way it doesn't change the gameplay greatly. And of course, just like Pac-Man and basically every game on the Atari 2600, as you progress through the levels, the game speeds up, making it more difficult. So there you have it, Mousetrap. It's like Pac-Man, but different. And different enough to feel like an entirely different game for that matter. And to be quite honest, if I was going to suggest you to get one game on the Atari 2600 out of Pac-Man or Mousetrap, I would have to say that Mousetrap is the better game. It is more polished, it looks better, it has better sound effects, and it is overall more enjoyable. So head down to your local video store and pick up a copy of Mousetrap for the Atari 2600.